Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Lexus GS. In the bulk of the GS, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive in these machines is rare. While the gearbox can only be automatic, no other business class is allowed. On the Yonder GS 300 with a 3GR FSC engine in the European version, there is a 6 speed Eisen automatic transmission on the A96OE series. The box is not bad, but relatively weak. It is designed for a moment of only 320 nanometers, and the motor develops up to 314 nanometers. It's having a hard time here. On the GS350 and GS430 with 2GR FSC and 3UZFE engines, as well as on the rare American or Asian GS300 with 3GR FE, stronger and more solid A76OE, A761E, A761F with all-wheel drive work. They withstand all 420 nanometers of torque, and when working with a 3.5 liter engine, 377 nm, the margin remained decent. But with a 4.3 liter engine, these automatic transmissions work almost to the limit. It produces 417 nm. After restyling, the GS460 began to install an 8 speed AATE box, which can withstand up 600 nm, which exceeds 1 UR. FSE 500 nanometer capabilities by a margin. I would like to say that there were no problems with the transmission, but unfortunately this would not be true. On cars with engines with a volume of 3.5 4.3 liters, the resource of drives and the cardan shaft is unlikely to exceed 200,000, and the racers, who are enough amount depends on the brand, have even less. And with 3 liter engines, the mechanical part of the transmission is far from eternal. The front axle drives of all-wheel drive vehicles are very weak. Moreover, covers are often torn on them, which must be monitored. For repairs, you can take contract components from Mark X, but when buying, you should carefully check the condition of the parts, especially the cardan. In addition, we must not forget to check the condition of the rear gearbox. Oil leaks and broken motor bushings should cause concern. A recovery kit can cost more than hundreds of thousands of rubles, so the repair will not be cheap. Gearboxes of the A96OE series are quite reliable, but do not tolerate active driving at all. Not only they work to the limit, but also the electronics allow you to load the transmission as much as possible, trying to fully realize the full power of the motors. The box can do all the tricks that premium units are supposed to be able to perform, sliding switching and early blocking of the gas turbine engine. As a result, the automatic transmissions on the GS300 already after 150,000 km fall into the risk zone, and after 250,000, they will almost certainly fall into the middle repair even for the calmest driver. In automatic machines of lowers of active movement, one can find critical wear of the gas turbine lock lining after hundreds of thousands of runs, but in most cases this happens with a run of over 150,000. Hard starts and increased loads bring the hub of the front planetary gear and a characteristic trolley bus sound comes out of the transmission. A high load on the linear solenoids will force them to be changed at runs from 150 to 200,000, even if the regular maintenance schedule is observed. And for owners who do not change the oil, the entire well body by this run may require replacement with the accompanying repair of the oil pump and the replacement of all box seals. While it should be borne in mind that instead of a radiator there is a heat exchanger, which is gradually overgrown with dirt, worsening the operation of the cooling system. The A760E, 761E, 761F boxes are noticeably stronger. In any case, but runs up to 340-400,000, they have almost no problems with planetary gears. Unfortunately, the resource of the linings for blocking the gas turbine engine and the valve body on the cars of the racers is only slightly higher than the level of the previous automatic transmission. The valve body had just likes clean and not overheated oil. For a careful driver, the box is likely to reach a mileage of 200-250,000, but you will have to monitor the wear of the gas turbine clutch and change the linear solenoids in time avoiding shocks and overloading the mechanics. The situation with the WAATE automatic transmission is not yet completely unambiguous. There are a few breakdown statistics, despite the rather decent time that has passed since the appearance of the transmission. It can only be noted that the gas turbine engine blocking pad is much more reliable here, but the well body gets dirty very intensively, especially during the active operation of the manual mode. The early versions of this box, which can be found on the generation of GS, had a lot of complaints about the small resource of the solenoids, but usually the situation was corrected radically. We are replacing the well bodies with more recent revisions. 
the operating experience of more recent versions of these automatic transmissions says that they hold up well up to a run of 200 to 150,000 km, but then a series of repairs or one overhaul follows with the replacement of everything, including planetary gears. The main engines of this generation of Lexus GS are V-shaped 6-cylinder engines of the GR series with a timing chain drive, an aluminum block and cast iron liners. Most often under the hood there is a 3-liter 3GRF SE with direct injection with a power of 249-256 horsepower. Much less common are cars with 3.5-liter 2GRF SC engine with a power of 299-306 horsepower. They are also in hybrid versions of the GS450H. There are a few cars with the 8-cylinder 3UZFE 4.3 liters, but finding the most powerful versions with the V8 4.6 liters 1URFE is very difficult. Of the common elements for all motors, you should pay attention to the radiators of the cooling system and air conditioning. They are dense and clog very intensively, and the engine radiator is also prone to leaks in the lower part. Therefore, the cooling system needs to be checked every season. One of the most unpleasing problems of the entire GR series until 2008 can be called the failure of the oil supply pipe to the cylinder head, code 15707-3101. Its rubber insert was torn, after which the motor lost oil. If it happened on the go, then the motor came to a complete and inevitable end. Check this tube. If the old one is installed, then replace it with the old metal one, code 15772-31030. Often during a cold start you may encounter knocks from the phase regulator mechanism and errors in the phase control system. If the replacement of the valves didn't help, then you will have to change the couplings of the phase regulators. In some cases it helps to replace the bed of the camshafts and the shafts themselves, along with springs and pushers, since the beds here are made separately from the cylinder head itself. All these measures save from the appearance of errors and from oil leaks through the cylinder head joints, but the knock on the cold will go away for a short time. Literally after 10-15 thousand kilometers, the characteristic start-up sound in cold weather will appear again. All head exchanger hose leaks are another common problem. It can be solved by replacing it with new revision hoses. But you will have to put up with a small resource of the pump as well as with floating speed. Although in the latter cases it makes sense to replace the throttle bodies. Well, cover gasket leaks and regular bathing of ignition modules in oil are typical, but small nuance. Coils on machines manufactured before 2010 are best replaced as a set with the new ones, and sometimes this can be done as a part of recall campaign. But the main problem that appears only on the GS is the so-called PPC, the problem of the fifth cylinder. It is characterized by a decrease in compression in the fifth or second cylinder relative to the rest. In this case, using the endoscope you can usually see the scuffing of the cylinder mirror, in some cases the piston may even break, apparently due to oil appetite and detonation. Due to the nature of the intake system, the engine receives a lot of dust along with the air. It is believed that the main cause of this evil is the air filter box and its corrugation. The corrugation of course is not the most successful, it regularly cracks and the joint of the box doesn't shine with tightness. The box is either glued or exchanged together with the corrugation for an element from Mark X. When using second-hand parts, this is inexpensive. Sometimes they put a null, and this is also a good way out, but here it is important not to run into a low-quality fake. The second reason lies in the exhaust. PPC may begin due to the catalyst starting to dust. Apparently, the features of the gas exchange of the engine create a strong reverse flow in the fifth cylinder. Although the catalyst, in any case, will finish off with all the other engine cylinders over time. Additional risk factors for the problem of the fifth cylinder can be considered cracks in the plastic intake manifold near the junction with an aluminum part of the cylinder head. Cracks are not noticeable here and the engine can suck dust into one or more cylinders for years. This occurs even on factory assembled engines, but it's more typical for engines that have been in the hands of craftsmen who cleaned the intake manifold from soot. This operation is carried out regularly every 50 60,000 to remove deposits on the intake valves, the manifold itself and the dampers. If this is not done, the motor loses a lot of power and if you tighten it, you can catch a piece of soot that has fallen off under the valves. It can also get into the cylinder, damage the spark plug or stretch the sleeve. Due to soot, it can also cut off the damper drive gear in the intake manifold. Such a breakdown is usually accompanied by P2009 error. 
All appetite in engines is usually caused by coking of oil scrapper rings, general wear of the piston group when catalysts are damaged, or problems with the fifth cylinder. In fact, as mentioned about, it is not always the fifth, the second cylinder suffers quite often, sometimes two at once. The minimum mileage at which GS owners have encountered these problems is about 150,000 km. True, the same amount can be wound up. With runs over 250,000 and live or removed catalyst, but with the original intake and without other modifications, the reduction in compression in the fifth cylinder is still present, albeit not catastrophic. Usually, the motor is considered conditionally efficient if, with compression of 1314 in all cylinders, the problematic one has 89. With the right choice of oil, nothing bad will happen to it, but when the compression is reduced to 6.5, the engine will start to sausage, and the concomitant increase in oil consumption will create the prerequisites for reducing the detonation resistance of the mixture in the 6 cylinder. In this case, it is very easy to break the piston. The motor is reluctant to repair. Far from everywhere, they take its sleeve, and high quality equipment is required to perform this operation. In the east of the country, motors are simply changed, but in the European part, they sometimes undertake repairs. Contract units can still be found inexpensively and in good condition, and for native engines after 250-300 thousand mileage, both the piston and cylinder head and almost all attachments need serious repairs. Most often, they buy engines from Mark X, although GR engines are found on many cars. It is usually cheaper to buy two GR FSC from other models and is convenient to buy a complete power unit with the box, intake and all other equipment from Mark. The two GR FSE engine differs only in its large volume and noticeably greater sensitivity to the operation of the cooling system. At the same time, it is more willing to consume oil in the absence of obvious prerequisites for the appearance of problems. The 4.3 liter 3UZ FE motors are a fine example of a reliable old-school motor. This engine is not brittle, light, with a simple and reliable timing belt, and it can travel literally a million kilometers before major repairs. Well, half a million before their cylinder head overhaul and replacement of rings. Either way, TLC fans will tell you a lot of good things about it. It is rarely found on the GS and a solid part of this geese, with it the result of a swap, instead of this is GR engine, since UZ is cheaper and more reliable. The one URFE resource is clearly less than its predecessor, and the V80 is, is extremely expensive to repair. TLC fans are not happy with this motor, but I think if you want the most powerful motor on the GS, then my advice to you is not particularly interesting. I will only remind you that it is unlikely that they bought it in order to go to church on Sundays. On this information about the problems on the Lexus GS is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.